I was born and raised in the gym. Okay, the gym is who I am, what I'm all about. Okay, going to the gym. You want success, you want results. You have to do something about it. You just can't hope for it. You can't expect it just to happen because you showed up. You have to take action. You have to demand it from the universe. You have to demand it from your workouts and insist that it happens right now, here and now. The days before, you have to just all of a sudden daydream about what it's going to feel like. The night before, especially the night before, as you're eating your meal, you have to expect a good workout. You can't just think it's going to happen. You have to expect it. You have to already have practiced it in your mind, in your mind, in your workout. You have to imagine what the bar is going to feel like in your hands or on your back. You have to have this kind of mental rehearsal to get any kind of results. You have to do a lot more than just show up. You're thinking about it. You're envisioning the workout. You've practiced it many times, multiple times already the week before. You think about what's going to happen. You've already done it. You think about what, how you're going to bring it to fruition, how you're going to bring it to reality. And you go over the daydream in your mind. On the way to the gym, you have to start getting anxious. If you don't get anxious anymore, and all you do is listen to some kind of music or something like that, and you're just thinking that you're doing it, you're not doing it. Turn around and go home, if that's the case. You just can't show up, you just can't pretend. You have to demand from the workout that you're going to get results. You have to have workouts in your brain already before. You have to have the results already in your brain before you even get there. You have to expect success because you've rehearsed it in your brain, in your mind. It's going to take all of you. It's going to take every ounce of your being, everything you've got. And if you give it any less than everything you've totally got, you're not totally spent, you're not doing enough. After much careful, much thought, much thought, uh, I decided that this is very important to me. Driven by the white hot desire to stand alone as the world's most massively developed human. Ah. Your thighs literally scream for mercy, yet you blaze onward, resolved to create thick, striking massiveness. Basically, um, you've got to train and condition yourself to do heavy weights for a lot of reps. It takes time, it takes years, it takes a, a career. Come on! Ah! Get serious! One more! Ah! Dig! Dig! Keep on! Keep on! five more reps when you're done and even getting five more reps when you think you're done 
then till you achieve failure, you either fall in the rack, do some half ones, you can't hang on to the bar anymore, and somehow you do, but it falls to the ground, and that's usually an indication that the set might be over. This is what you have to give it. You have to give it this much, otherwise, why are you doing this in the first place? You're not going to get results. You have to demand it. You have to promise yourself. This is it right here. You have to promise yourself that you will not ever be a failure. You have to marry this thought pattern. So when you get to the gym, I don't care if you're on your deathbed and you're dying and it hurts and anything. You have to promise yourself before you get there that you are not going to go home a loser. I would rather die than acknowledge to myself that I'm that loser. There is nothing that I won't do. There's nothing that I won't do to avoid being a loser. And if you think you could have done more, you're a loser. You have to self make a promise to yourself that you will never ever go there or do that. And you will fight to the death to maintain your promise to yourself. If you don't think you can do this, don't. I'm me, I'm not nobody else. I just do what I do. Claim ownership. I own this place. Nobody's gonna tell me when to go or when to stop but me. In fact, I'm gonna go further than I ever went before. You can, and you must, and you will, and you should. And I can see it in everybody. If you really, seriously, sincerely believe that this energy works, it does. If you believe it doesn't work, it doesn't. Whether you're training for a contest, whether you're training to get big, whether you're investing money, whether you're courting a new romance in your life, whatever, this energy, that, that feeling has to be there and you have to believe it's with you. You have to just sort of grab on to what you believe in and grab on to what you know and who you are and, and, and go forward with that, whatever it is. And that's sort of what I learned from bodybuilding. Education is important. You know, sets and reps and nutritional applications and so on. Still, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of skinny scientists in the gym in the morning who will know all about how to make muscles grow. But most important to me is instincts, emotions. And then you deal with genetics too. I mean, very few bodybuilders have great genetics, great instincts and attitudes, and great education. If you have all three, I mean, one body who came close was Arnold. If there's a risk involved in an exercise, and there is, if there's a risk associated with the movement, it's a good exercise. If there's minimal risk, why do it? It's probably a bullshit exercise, okay? I mean, there's a reason people don't squat. It's hard! It's hard! People don't want what's hard. They want what's easy. Most people think it's all about the heavy weights. It's not. The weight doesn't matter. If, if your form and technique is pure, size and strength will fall. My attitude, the way I walk to the gym in the morning, the way I get in the car, the way I get on the phone, uh, I have an inner confidence that I've never really totally understood. You gotta go out there and fail. You gotta go out there and fall down. Most people have won big have failed big. On the next number, let your irons open and you are then ready, determined, motivated, inspired to take your physical self beyond any previous point of accomplishment. Number five, irons open now. Inhale completely and stretch. Welcome to the pain zone. It's where we live. It doesn't happen in 60, 90, uh, uh, days, a year, two, three, it, it takes a lifetime. The reps are more important than the heavy weights. I'll repeat that, the reps are more important than the heavy weights. I don't think I ever saw some of the greatest bodybuilders with the greatest arms in the world do more than a 45 pound dumbbell. I never saw Arnold use more than a 45 pound dumbbell. Some of the greatest arms in, in, in the world, the world's ever seen. When you think you're done, totally done, you have at least five, five more reps, okay? The feeling I have, the emotions I have, the times on stage, the, the 86 Olympia, was, was, oh God, I would train 25 more years for that one night. Forget about the money. 
was just such a fantastic experience. I think everybody wants to feel good about themselves. Which that's a nice side effect from the gym. To feel better about you. To feel better about getting up in the morning. To feel better about who you are and the world around you. That's what bodybuilding has given me most predominantly. There's gotta be a switch, go click. Now you're crazy in the gym. You will do anything. You will die. You're willing to die to get there. The deep throated roar of the plate that exists on the train just is music to your ears. We used to, in that film in the old days, we used to always leave space between the plates. So the plates would jingle. So the plates would make noise. And when you came up from a squat and you draw it and completed the rep and go, Boom! The deep throated, deep throated roar that was like music in every rep. You wanted to hear that sound again, and you wanted to complete that record with as much force as you possibly could that would break, that would break hot and steel, man. That, that, that feeling like you had to fucking do it! You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far, it's too scary. But you know something, I got news for you. That's where winning is. The only place to go from failure is to win. You can't be sane and be a bodybuilder. You have to have that side of you that wants to, to go into the unknown, wants to explore things that, that everybody doesn't. We want, to, we want to address feelings and statements that scare you to your fucking death. You have to face them head on and go, well, here I go. Either I'm going to die or I'm going to succeed. More! More! Yeah, come on! The machine's going to break. Go, 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 come on! Yeah, come on! It's the passion that makes the body, the body grow and change. It's not necessarily the weight in your hand. The weight in your hand is like the paintbrush to an artist feelings and the emotions involved in bodybuilding, not just how much, how many times. That's the whole thing about bodybuilding, it's, it's about you and, and your feelings and the dumbbell. Life doesn't happen to you. We all think that life happens to me. Life happens for you. It happens for you. I mean, Opportunities will come to you every day. You can remain scared of the opportunities or you can embrace them and take them. My, my, when I finally realized that, and I want to share this with you, if you give up on your dreams, if you give up on your dreams, what do you have left? <laughs> Nothing. I can't live that way. I can't live that way. I have to live on the edge. We achieve failure the office, in business. Go out there and fail. Go fail, go do it wrong. Get up, learn, and do it better. That's what the gym teaches you. People don't think, people think, oh, it's just the gym. Gym is life. In the gym, there's always five reps. Whenever you think there's not five reps left, you have five reps. When you're, when you're hurting, when you can't breathe, when you can't get up, you can get up five more times. In life, too. There's nothing you can't do if you want it bad enough. Most people don't want it bad enough. Kill me! Come on! There's everything you got! Come on! Five more! Keep going! Pull! Okay, one more rep. One more rep. This is the last lap. This is the last 50 yards. You gotta go. You gotta give. Drop! Do not fail. Do not fail. You cannot be a loser. Lose is nothing. You must not lose. You cannot leave the gym a loser. 
I'd rather die than lose. Give, give, 